Okay, so in this video, uh, I'm going to go over some of the reading and writing apps and notes for uh, Crito, a text that we covered uh, several weeks ago uh, and is available for selection, a menu option for exam five. So Crito, written by Plato, starring Socrates, right, an ancient text from um, about four, you know, 380 BCE, right? It details the, the prison scene of, uh, of Socrates. So Socrates is, has been a, a philosopher, the first philosophizer uh, in, uh, in Athens, uh, and he is put on trial uh, for uh, crimes against the state, um, and it is a type of show trial uh, where uh, he is uh, condemned to death in uh, the Apology, uh, and then in the Crito we have the prison scene, and then the Phaedo we have the death scene. So the uh, the idea, the sort of animating idea that we presented as a way into the text, the way to intervene in the text and generate something beyond the text was this whole idea of prison scene dynamics and tropes. Um, and um, so everyone has their own prison scene, right? Uh, prison scenes are very dominant in our imagination. They're throughout our uh, culture and literature and in our current uh, world, uh, our cinematic video game, literary, uh, political world, prison scene narratives play a, a big role. Why do they play a big role? Well, they're very efficient, condensed uh, aesthetic mechanisms for exploring notions of individuality, freedom, justice, guilt, redemption, um, injustice, uh, etc. So um, Plato is working with this idea and uh, for the most part, a prison scene is, uh, is, you know, uh, is a real sort of, it's a hard way out, right? Especially in our contemporary configuration of it. Uh, usually the prison scene serves uh, the ideologies of victim victimization and revenge uh, narratives more than it does other narratives. So, uh, you know, Plato is well aware of this. And so basically he's constructing a scene. How is... Socrates going to get out of this? How is Socrates going to overcome um, this scene, this dead end, and generate some new way of thinking? 